hello Lilith. welcome back to my channel guys if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button i mean go ahead <laughs> click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and don't forget to leave me a like a thumbs up comment below and i am trying to get better at catching up on my comments um guys i had kind of got away from being able to reply to everybody but i'm trying to get back to being able to do that but I just end up having so many you know I have been uploading like so many videos so many pictures and stuff on Instagram and then I have all these comments and then I I can read them but you know replying to all of them takes a lot of time and I work with my hands so you know there it goes so anyway um I wanted to do two things in this video one I want to um I want to talk about maybe three things. It just depends. First thing I want to do is I want to say again, um, I was watching uh, Wishes and Wonders channel again, and she was saying um, she did a video on which baby is magic for her. And I when she tried to explain it like how we know the dolls aren't real but the one that she gravitates towards i guess maybe the most or whatever it's a different connection a different way she interact with them like she feels like the you have to go for her exact verbiage but basically it's like I can look at certain babies in my collection, rather I painted them or someone else painted them and I could be like, oh my God, this is like the most realistic baby and just be in total awe of it, love it, wouldn't want to get rid of it, um, just really, really feel good when I interact with it. But then there's the others, and this these are my words, um, and then there's others where and it's not that many, it, it might be one or two where when I pick that baby up or, you know, I walk in the room and see that baby, I feel like the flutter, like butterflies, the stomach flip, like as if it, your mind knows that it's a doll, but your feelings react as if it's a real baby. Um you get that same feeling as if when you see a new baby in the grocery store or, you know, in the mall or, you know, or you see a baby on a commercial or TV and you're like, oh my God, it's such a cute baby. Like, it's a total different feeling. And, but the way that she worded it just really kind of nailed it and, and explained it much better. Um, and so for me, um, I think I get excited about new babies right off the bat. I I connect with all of the babies that I buy because I'm very picky about when I buy a baby. So most of the time, there's a few occasions where I just want an artist's work so bad and I just give in and buy a sculpt that I know I'm not 100% in love with, but I love the artist and I love the artist's work. And I I have did that a few times. And there was really like a weird, not so much connect to the doll itself, but I love the painting. So those times are different, but most times I really buy off of where I really, really feel something when I see that baby on the screen. And so most of my dolls, I'm excited when they first arrive and I love them and I'm, oh my gosh, this is it, this is the one, blah, 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 just blah, 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 blah. Um, confession is off camera, and not that I'm being fake or anything like that, but off camera when I get to spend time, more and more time with them, it'd be like little things that I'd be like, mm, I just wish this was this way, or I just wish that was that way. But I still be so excited about them. I just kind of think, you know, I just push that off and be like, okay, you know, I'm just being picky. Um, but those are the babies that end up like either leaving or they kind of fall to the wayside as other ones kind of take the spotlight. Um, 
But there are babies that I know that I know is like, oh my God, this is it. I, I love this baby. Like with Phoebe, I instantly knew I love I loved her. Like I loved the sculpt from the beginning, blank. I painted her. I went through, you know, all the little trauma of, you know, getting her painted. And I knew she would be one that would stay forever. For for one, Phoebe is like my softest baby and she's just like she's just the best little little baby like she's the best cuddle baby ever um there isn't even a reborn as more cuddly as phoebe phoebe is like she just melts into your arm um but she isn't the one that she she always have her spot i think i there is a little bit of resentment that I made mistakes with Phoebe. <laughs> if I be totally honest. And so, um, I love her and she's very special to me. And I love, like, I, I love picking her up and stuff like that. I don't really do it as much now. Um, uh, but when I do, oh my God, I'm just like, oh, this, she's just so sweet. But this, this one, this one, this is the the magic one for me. And I don't know, like it's just, um, I think, I think, you know, I'm always trying to analyze my thoughts, my feelings, my why am I like this, what the, the, so I think a lot of it has to do with me, like, missing when I had Drew and there was things that I like, you know, man, if Drew was a little bit bigger or this or that. And, you know, just like little things I missed about Drew. I think because his coloring is kind of similar. Not the same at all, but similar in ways. And I think because the process of even getting him as a blank one it was a whole year later almost before the sculptor decided that she would sell some blanks and then thinking that I was going to mess him up which is kind of like Phoebe's story and then him turning out exactly like I wanted him um well we still got to wait for the hair <laughs> to to complete the the, the 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 vision but I think that played a big part and so for me when I when I um I get him I really you know you know feel like the butterflies and stuff and I think he just kind of looks like he could be my my real baby so I think it makes another connect for me he doesn't look like my children I'm not gonna say that he doesn't look like my children to me um, he does remind me of Bryson um, in the face oh, oh, quite a bit um, just because I spent so much time with Bryson for the first couple months. I still spend time with Bryson, but there's just certain phases that Bryson went through that he really kind of gives me that. And um, so that that's another connect. And I always say, well, Bryson is slowly starting to look more like, and Bryson, for those that don't know, is my grandson, is slowly starting to look a little bit like us, um, meaning my, his maternal side of the family. Um, like Audrey, she, uh, she started out looking like, like, like the maternal side of the family and now she kind of looks like her dad and us, you know, and I think that's how both of my grandbabies are. They kind of look like their dad on one time and sometimes they look like us a little bit. But anyway, Bryson has less of us than Audrey. So anyway, so he, he gives me that, but I, I just, I don't know. So that's that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about really quickly, and this probably ended up being a long video because y'all know I, I, I had over talk. Um, is I forgot I mean I don't know if I wanted to talk about this 
Um, it was something else. Okay, so yeah. So anyway, so he's 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 the one that's that's magical for me. The other thing. What was the other thing? What was the other thing? Um. my live streams i've been doing live streams here and there periodically i am have not been leaving them up um much longer after the live i am gonna i think i might uh, some of them i have turned around and shared it in the chatterbox and i think i'm gonna go i might go back and put the other ones in the chatterbox but the chatterbox live streams stay up for at least a month, you know, for that month. Like if I do a live stream in May, that stays up. Then once it shows me one month ago on my time, my thing, then I I um I I remove it. Some of them stay up a little past that, but I'm trying to get better at removing them every month. Um, not obligated to do that on the gym pop. But I like to do live streams. Um, one of the things that I've been doing is just really random little things in my live streams. And I do it because I I don't really do um, nothing the same <laughs> as everyone else. I don't I, I make up my own rules as I go. I'm just gonna say it like that. I, I pretty much make up my rules as I go. I don't you know, just follow uniform. So, um, I just want to say, like, my last live stream, I basically auctioned off a baby. And it was random. And I did it that way on purpose because I wanted it to not be where, you know, the long shots come in and, you know, take over. I really wanted it to be just the normal crowd of people that usually show up for my live streams to be there and, you know, um, and then, you know, the, the baby would probably not go as high. Um, there's that because nobody knew, nobody was prepared. And that was the whole point of it. Um, before I did a giveaway randomly and so I like to mix it up. So I didn't necessarily give, give the baby away, but the price was very, very low. And it's just my way of having fun. And it makes me feel good to be able to do some of those things sometime with my reborns. Um, I'm kind of pulling back on painting reborns. So, you know, that was my last one that I had available that to do anything with. And so, I just decided to do that. I don't know when I'll have another reborn painted or um, for sale or anything like that. I'm kind of working on silicone right now. Um, but, at, you know, like I said, on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't know what I'm going to do at all because everything is changing so much. And I have been going through a lot of different emotions about what I want to do and what part I want to play and what role I want to play in this community nowadays. So, um, I just, I just go day by day. Um, I, I cannot remember <laughs> what other thing I wanted to tell you guys about. So I'm going to stop the video here. But this is baby Jaden, if you guys don't know who he is. Um, and he is painted by me. He's going to be rooted by me soon. And just to look at him. <laughs> what are you doing? It, it, it cracks me up sometimes. Like, I, what I see don't always come across on the camera. And I have to say that this is the funniest thing. And I know you guys have experienced this too. Have you ever been watching a video and the person is doing like a details video or whatever and or they're talking and they say, oh, and this baby has such lovely veins or I love the color in here and you're looking like, I don't see nothing. 
like it's almost like people are imagining stuff there that's not there but it's because a lot of times cameras no matter how good your camera is don't always pick up every little detail so that's the tricky part about these babies and buying these babies even or deciding if you want a baby by a particular artist or something you really can't know until you actually see those babies in person a lot of times and that's also a funny thing but that's another topic I, I, I probably won't go too deep into but that's another thing that's funny when I see other artists painting from other artists pictures of their work instead of painting from real babies because they're copying this what they think they what they think the baby looked like but it's really like they're missing a lot of other things because they're not looking at the baby in person. So, and I don't know. Some artists, I think maybe in person, they can look at a, a person's work and maybe copy it. But I don't, I don't think that, I don't think it's easy to do. I think you could look at somebody's work all day long and still not figure it out. But I guess it just depends. Um, but anyway, it's my little bug a snuggle bug i will see you guys later bye bye